knows how to stop eating like a fucking pig on your eating days. Let's begin. How to stop eating like a fucking pig on your fucking eating days. Okay, you want to shrink your fucking stomach, okay? You want to shrink your fucking stomach. So, what I've recognized with people, if you're eating, let's say you're eating one meal a day, all right? So, I always tell everybody to start with a long fucking fast on fucking snake juice to start this shit off, get into fucking ketosis, okay? Most of you fat pigs, cut the fucking carbs, okay? Lots of vegetables, keeping ketosis fucking solves a hunger issue. The other thing that solves a hunger issue is not eating a huge fucking meal, okay? Cut the fucking goddamn food volume back. So how do you cut the food volume back and still fast most of the day? Middle ground, fucking idiots. You eat multiple fucking meals, okay? Tiny fucking meals. So an example routine, okay? Your baseline routine is always gonna be eating every day. Eventually you're gonna be fucking lean. You can't just fucking fast long forever. So if you can't maintain or lose weight eating every day, you're never gonna keep the fucking weight off, okay? We know that. So normally people would default to one meal a day every day, okay? Maybe two meals a day, okay? The mainstream intermittent fasting crowd fucking tells you to fucking always eat low frequency, right? But you adapt, okay? You don't identify to some shit if something else fucking works better, okay? If you're getting wicked results on, on the eating days, only eating one meal and you're not overeating, fine, stick to it. But here's what I've been fucking doing now. I'll fast most of the day, and then I'll eat like fucking four, sometimes even five fucking meals. And these meals are tiny as fuck. Okay, it builds that discipline so I don't have a big fucking hard on waiting for this big fucking pig fest meal every fucking day. Okay, and you can eat in morning or at night, whatever you want. Okay, but what I do, for example, let's use today. All right, I basically, I did do a fasted workout today, but I didn't have to, but I came home and I ate my first meal at 5 p.m. Instead of fucking waiting till later, I told you guys don't eat a big fucking meal before bed anyway. You want to do this on a keto routine. Lots of vegetables, high vegetable keto, not just fat and meat. Okay, you want most of the volume to still be from vegetables. So what I do is I'll eat every two hours minimum. I won't eat inside of two hours. Okay, it's not a fucking million meal a day diet where you eat on a two hour window every day. I'm still fasting a massive chunk of the day. And then you fat fucking pigs and you chuck in a fast. Then you can do a 48 or a 72. And when you come off the 72, you do the same thing. Tiny fucking meal. So what do I mean by tiny? Shrink the gut. Okay, and then the fucking long fast don't even feel as tough because you're not you don't want to have that big gut full feeling. You don't want to get used to that because then you always want to eat a ton. Okay, so I ate at five. What did I eat? I ate basically like a hundred grams of fucking steak that was raw. I ate it raw, whatever. Say something equivalent to like a can of herring or a can of tuna. Like that much meat is what I ate. You don't even have to eat any meat in that first meal. You're a fat pig. Just eat some vegetables if you want. Whatever you want. But the fucking way my meal looked, small amount of meat, and some sort of vegetable source or whatever, maybe a can of mushrooms, maybe a bell pepper. So the last meal I ate, I ate about 100 grams of steak, all right? I ate a fucking bell pepper and I had like 100 calories worth of fucking like 95% dark chocolate, okay? Keto, low carb, all right? That was it, done. I didn't even feel that I ate the fucking meal, but did it take that edge off? Yeah, it did, it was enough. Then at 7 o'clock, I'll eat the same fucking thing. I'll eat the other half of that little steak, probably 100 grams. And then I'll eat probably maybe a can of mushrooms. Oh, and that last first meal, I ate like a tomato. Like, I don't fucking care what the fuck you eat. The main thing is high vegetable volume, low fucking goddamn carb. If not, next to no carbs, you fat pigs. Try to beat the hunger issue, get fat adapted. Fucking go keep, keep your body in ketosis for a fucking month. Okay, check your strips every morning. If they don't show color, you fucked up. Okay, so tonight I'll eat like four fucking meals. But it's a little fucking chicken shit meal. It's a tiny bit of meat, a little bit of fat, 
and some vegetable. After I eat the meal, it's like I didn't even eat the fucking thing. Okay, like we're talking four meals, 400 calories a pop. Okay, I'm definitely on a cut at that. Okay, I'm fasting long still. I fucking, it's still gonna be only a fucking six hour fucking eating window. Okay, that's a good fast. And if you're fucking lean, you can do that to the day you die. You think that's not healthy? Of course it is, you fucking dummy. Okay, this will shrink your gut. Okay, so you're not used to just piling it in because it, it, you adapt to that and then you need more and more and more and more. Okay, and then next thing you know, you're eating as much as a competitive eater for fuck's sakes and you're so used to it that a little meal doesn't do nothing for your satiation. Okay, these tiny ones and, but you can do it opposite. You can eat a tiny breakfast. You can eat maybe three little tiny meals first half of the day, fast the rest of the day. You can do whatever the fuck you want. Just fast most of the fucking day still. Okay? Tonight I'll happen to eat four meals. I'll eat like five, seven, nine, and eleven. I'll probably be in bed at like maybe twelve tonight. Tiny meals though. So that last meal, yeah, it's an hour before bed, but it's fuck off. It'll be like 354 in cal. Fucking joke. Okay? We're trying to train your body to not crave that big meal. It lowers your stress. So let's talk about the long fast. So that's my baseline fasting routine. Baseline. That means I'm eating every day. So everybody's baseline routine, okay? Your fucking default should be you're eating every day, all right? Drinking snake juice, especially if you're eating fucking low carb. You now gotta get the salt in because you're gonna dump salt like crazy. Low carb, beat the hunger with that, and then eating every day, that's your default. So you, if you're not losing weight, you better be at least fucking maintaining when you're eating every day. You'll never keep the weight off. I don't care if you fast for 40 fucking days in a row sometime in your life. Doesn't matter. You're not gonna keep the weight off if you can't eat every day keeping it off, okay? So every day you can eat OMAD if you want, you can eat two squares, but these tiny fucking meals will make you beat hunger issues because your gut will shrink and you'll, you'll be used to that, all right? And you'll be more productive because you never have that food, baby. You can just fucking go run a goddamn 100 meter sprint right after the fucking meal. Now, the fasting is bonus weight loss, fuckheads. So let's say you're a real fat pig. If I had a really fat pig that could fucking lose, let's say I have a really fat woman that's like 500 pounds. And she's like, Cole, I ate every day. I fasted basically 18 hours a day and she ate low carb, or she even did OMAD, okay? And she lost, like, let's say she lost 10 measly pounds in a month. Perfect, perfect, I can work with that. Because that means that that woman, she lost weight eating every day. All I gotta do is tell her to fucking do some longer fast and chuck them in there if she wants to lose weight a little more. And then she just comes off the long fast, gets back into her routine. What's the easiest routine to sustain is being able to fucking eat a few small meals in a tight window rather than the one big meal. But do whatever the fuck you want. You don't gotta listen to me, I don't give a fuck. Cause you get fucking fasting zealots, intermittent fasting zealots, fucking people that promote one meal a day all the time, two meal a day, that's a little more down the middle. Okay, but then you'll have the extreme other end where they're promoting no fasting at all and eating like six or seven or eight meals a day with carbs. That's brutal for fucking hunger, okay? If you're doing this, you wanna pull the carbs and do it on keto, but lots of vegetables. And the other thing is when you're eating this way, let's say you ate fucking at, let's say you ate at five, seven, and nine at night. Three little meals. Instead of the one big one at say five o'clock. Well, you're gonna be able to get in way more vegetables on the three meals, obviously, Albert Einstein, because your fucking goddamn frequency is way higher and you'll be able to keep the calories the same. Because the volume, you wouldn't be able to get all those vegetables in if you just ate the one. You'll be so fucking full. Okay? It's going to help with bowel movements. It's going to be better for digestion. Okay? And then, like I said, if you want to eat those little meals in the evening, try it out. If you want to eat those small meals in the morning, try that out. Okay? I don't fucking care if you want to eat them right in the middle of the day. Okay? Just keep the window still tight, your regular... 16 and 8 on your fucking default fucking fasting routine where you should not gain weight. If you can't keep your body weight at bay on a fucking routine where you're eating every day and maybe doing like your mainstream intermittent fasting or OMAD every day, you're never going to keep the fucking weight off. Ever. 
Okay? The people that can do the mainstream fucking routine where they're eating every day with a good chunk of fast and cutting carbs, those people are gonna easily lose all the weight. If they can do that, they just add in a 72 here, a 48 there, a fucking 96 there. Fuck, they can even do a fucking seven day fast. And by the way, when you eat the small meals now, if you get that fucking get rid of that mindset where you gotta eat this huge fucking pig fest after a long fast, when you come off a seven day fast, I don't give a fuck if you ate fucking eight meals, one meal on every two hours for a whole day. Who cares? Cause there's small little meals, lots of vegetables, get, and you can get way more micronutrients from that fucking routine, can't ya? Okay? Because you fast as long, you can eat the tiny meals, and you know what will actually happen, fat pig? You're fasting on steak juice, seven days, let's say. You get back on the little meals for a day. You're gonna eat like a few of those little meals and you're gonna be full. You're gonna be fucking satiated. You're not gonna be hungry, okay? The first one, it'll be small. Like we're talking a small fucking meal, idiots. Like something equivalent to like a can of tuna, a can of green beans, and maybe a tablespoon of fat in there. For women, maybe that meal like three times, okay? Something like that. Weigh yourself before you fucking break the fast, idiot, and then you fucking know, okay? And you can even watch the calories. It makes it a fucking joke. Make sure those fucking ketone strips are showing color every fucking morning. When you're a fat pig, you don't need to eat any fucking carbs. They're just gonna make you hungry. And eating big fucking refeeds is gonna make you hungry, okay? But if there's people out there that are eating old mad and they're fucking ripped, keep doing it. But it works perfect, okay? I'm just fucking telling you fuckers that keep fucking up your eating days because you're eating way too much on OMAD or can't stop, stick to this fucking routine. Tiny meal. Shouldn't even notice it. We're talking like fucking 200 grams of food, maybe a half a pound of food tops. We're talking a small amount of meat. We're talking mostly vegetables in that meal, okay? We're talking high frequency. Fucking simple as shit. Okay, if you're fucking up the big meals, go to the small meals. Get your stomach adapted to the little meals again. Then they'll be satiated. It might take a while because you've been eating like a fucking fat slob for so long because this is how yo-yo fasting starts. You're fasting long, everybody can fast, fuck. What I used to preach fucking four or five years ago doing 72s, I was a lunatic back then for saying that. Now it's mainstream. I had to fucking amp it the fuck up and say to fast like, 40 days and shit back then just to get people up the balls to do a three day fast. Now a three day fast is a fucking joke. Focus on the fucking eating days where you're not gaining weight on a fucking eating day. If you can fucking get in a routine where you can eat straight days with a fucking routine fast, okay, you're 8, 16, 18, 6, small meals, two hours. Don't eat inside of two hours. Two fucking hours, tiny fucking meal. The amount of food that you're eating should be something you could eat in like literally three minutes, okay? And then just doing one the next two hours, and then you might even be fucking being like, what, I don't even feel any hunger anymore, then don't even eat the next one. Fucking, if, it's, if you're eating later in the day, just go to bed, okay? Simple, fucking simple, fucking middle ground fuckers. Don't fucking disregard anything. Okay, don't disregard anything. Obviously there's people out there, I'll never promote fucking eight meal a day on carbs, but I will promote a high eating frequency with a good chunk of fasting every day, fucking low carb, okay? And if you're really disciplined and you're an athlete, you could go with this routine with carbs. You can do whatever the fuck you want. I'm just trying to teach you fuckers to keep fucking up. This is how you can solve the problem. Eat less food, you fat fucking pig. Till next time, stop fucking eating, fatty.